Hi guys, my name is Kai Tao and I'm the co-founder of uh, Weave. Um, so basically, um, my co-founders, uh, David and Ryan Higa, are, have you, how many of you guys have used uh, YouTube before? Um, so David and Ryan, my co-founders, happen to be two of the original most influential um, YouTube influencers. Between them, they have a subscription base of about 22 million users. Uh, and among their friends and the people we've assembled for this project, we address an audience of about 200 million subscribers. So basically, as YouTube creators, you know, this, this just shows you um, all the fan base and that they had. So basically, when YouTube became popular, um, part of the reason it became popular was this sense of community. And the creators had to have a direct um, interaction with their fans, both in terms of creating content that the fans wanted to see and to have a communication on a regular basis. And so what happened was all these platforms have come up since then. And each of the platforms have their unique edge, but only a few of the platforms currently pay the creators for what they're producing and also don't address the fan engagement or provide the necessary tools. In fact, the technology companies up here have actually benefited because a lot of the creators have produced a lot of the content for free over all the years. So if you look at the market valuations, everyone in Northern California has benefited from these public companies, but a lot of the people who are creating the bread and butter have uh, missed out on that opportunity because uh, the, co the platforms are not paying for it. So what we've created is a solution called Weave, and basically what we wanted to be is the first mobile-centric content created platform which engages the community and pays the creators and allows you to basically, with this format, do a video conversation. Essentially what we're re replacing is we're replacing text and audio with video, which allows you to have a conversation with those that are close to you your fans, your family, your workmates, and have a stitched conversation based on topics and groups and things that matter. And essentially, this allows for discovery and allows you to interact with uh, your, your uh, user base. And so we create stories that are group stories, essentially where all the participants are able to participate and add to the story. So if, you, if you're a famous creator, for example, you get to engage with your fans, and it's kind of like when Twitter first got started. Um, if you were a celebrity and you got a tweet and you got a reply from the celebrity, it gave you the illusion of an engagement with that celebrity. And so this allows for content engagement with the leading creators, and you can go to the different use cases where if you travel on trips together or you have different experiences, you could film it um, and create that story together. So it's not a one-person story. The standard format right now is just one person broadcasting, broadcasting. But here you get to create. Everyone in this room, for example, could share the experience of participating in this Entrepreneurs Forum as uh, one story. And that'll be a good memory for all of us. Thank you. So business model is a variety of things. Uh, standard, of course, is advertising, uh, where uh, we would have, uh, I mean, it's been a proven model. But the other thing is both based on subscription uh, for specialized groups and specialized topics. For example, imagine right now uh, a patient and uh, pharmacist interaction, right? So pharmacies right now have a problem in terms of engagement with their, with their patients. So th through this uh, particular method, they can speak directly. And the best part about this is not live video. Live video, you have to be available at the specific appointment time. This is asynchronous, almost like texting. You reply when you're convenient. But when you see someone's face, it becomes a genuine interaction. You actually, there's no, you know, you actually can see their expressions, you can see their feelings, so there's no confusion. And so there's many industry specific cases, but right now we're focusing to develop the core technology around the social experience, around groups and conversations that matter to you. We have the advantage of having the community is because our founders have a 200 million audience to draw from that are current subscribers of theirs on YouTube and Instagram. So we actually are trying to avoid, act, our problem actually, to be honest, is not getting users, it's keeping the users on the platform. So right now we're focusing on making sure that the platform is scalable enough so that it won't crash. Because we do anticipate, once we activate the user, the creator cohort, say basically, hey, we have a platform where you can engage with us, create content with us, and these are the people that you're already fans of and already paying for to see, but now you're able to watch them and have a one-on-one -on -one interaction or have that illusion of a one-on-one -on -one interaction, it really changes the ballgame.